Today we had an epic Bitcoin crash. The price of Bitcoin plummeted a thousand dollars. It lost over 10% uh, of its value. I'm here with Chris Carabats, otherwise known as Zaphoid, a regular on my uh, weekly recap show, joining me to chat about what is going on in the markets. Thank you, Chris, for being here. It's great to be here and it's always good to uh, talk to somebody friendly on a day like today. So there are a lot of reasons why the markets might have plummeted today. It's up for grabs as to what those reasons are, but we could definitely speculate. For one thing, you've got uh, Bitcoin cash flows going on at the moment. You've potentially got Craig Wright dumping a lot of money. There are also things going on in futures markets that might have uh, affected what's going on today. So Chris, what do you think? What do you think happened today that could possibly have led Bitcoin to drop $1,000? Well, talking about this after the fact, it's always a little bit like reading chicken on trails, but um, it's always fun to do it because we are human beings and we like to find reasons for things. The, uh, the big thing is, as you said, the Bitcoin cash war where uh, Mr. Uh, Craig S. Wright is throwing all sorts of FUD everywhere. And throwing uh, my, a big hissy fit at the same time. My, my favorite tweet of him today is, you know, to all BTC miners, if you switch to mine BCH, you'll use your BTC to fund this and then everybody will sell and that'll be a whole lot. So consider this and have a nice day. BTC to $1,000 does not phase me, is what he said. So he God. is, he's trying to threaten everything. Now he's, he's also talking about doing zombie mining, which is probably past this a little bit, but um, basically he's threatening to mine empty blocks for every proof of work chain he can mine them on, which will of course shut down all the chains that he can get access to. We've lost over $20 billion in overall market cap today alone, which is a, a large number. I mean, that is more than pocket change. But I think attributing that to uh, Craig Wright is probably giving him a lot more credit than he deserves. This man is a lot of bark, kind of like an angry chihuahua. Yeah, you don't want to give in to bullies in this. You don't want to give in to fear. I mean, basically, Craig sent that tweet out after this drop started. I, pretty, I feel it was him taking advantage of it and saying, oh, hey, look, this thing just happened. I better, you know, start making some threats to freak everybody out. Absolutely. He, he, Someone who's capitalizing on things that are already happening and saying, oh, I may or may not have had a lot to do with that. Hint, hint. You know, it's the hallmark of a, of a, of a scam artist, right? Mm -hmm. Just uh, being very vague about things, making a lot of threats, and uh, no, one can re no one really knows uh, what's just smoke. And yep, exactly right. And the um, we'll see how this all shakes out in the next few days. But we have about 19 hours until that network upgrade happens. So it'll be fun tomorrow night. Oh, boy. Okay, so what's happening in the futures markets that might have also affected the market today? Well, in the futures markets, we have the uh, CBOE closed today at about 245 central time. And you know, we always like to talk about futures a lot. And last couple of months, when they closed, nothing much happened. But in the past, Closing dates have been pretty big dates for manipulating prices and maybe uh, some big players bet on a lower price and decided it didn't go low enough for them. So decided to kick things down a bit so their futures closed better. Um, so that's definitely a happen. it's been happening for years in the gold market. This is just what happens when you have the futures market playing in a uh, pool as relatively small as crypto is right now. So it's definitely a, a plausible explanation that could have added to this giant uh, drop. Have we seen any large number of coins move from particular accounts? I know that there are people out there watching certain accounts, especially ones controlled by government, like when you have crypto that's been seized, for example, um, just watching it to see when that's going to be dumped into the market. Have we seen anything like that? You know, I haven't seen any movement like that in Bitcoin, um, which I would have expected to, honestly, as things are going. Um, the real big movements have still just been a lot of those big accounts accumulating Bitcoin. So it's still not, not looking like it's dumping. It's still looking like these people are taking the opportunity to load up and buy the dip, I'd say. Mm -hmm. and that is still the, the macro move that I'm seeing there. I'm, I'm not seeing a scary amount just showing up on the market selling. That being said, you know, I haven't watched every block go by and you never know what somebody might find tonight being moved around and price movement like this does result in coins being moved. Yeah, we will probably hear uh, what happens. So I'll make sure to, uh, to let everyone know as we get more information. Um, but another thing to keep in mind is that when you have plummets like this, um, generally you think that people are being like, margin called out of their position. It mm -hmm. just keeps dropping further and further, which is probably what we have here. Um, but also this can be a signal that the market might be bouncing back. I think that this may be a signal that we're about to see the end of this long bear market. 
I'm hearing a lot of word about that from a lot of different people. And you know, there's, there's real good evidence that when you have big downward price movements like this that are abnormal and kind of out of the blue, you get really good rebounds out of it. And if you look at the daily chart over the last year, when you have big drops like this, you usually have a big spike afterwards. Now, this is, of course, not any sort of a financial advice or even predictions because I hate prognosticating about this stuff. Absolutely. But the general feel I have you know, is that we're getting to the end of that capitulation stage. I think and I, so. And uh, especially when you have such a big price movement, there are a lot of people out there who've been waiting for an opportunity to buy into more crypto. And I say that they're looking at this thinking that this is the best time to buy for them. So I would not be surprised if, if we rebound back in the other direction almost as quickly. But again, no one really knows what's going to happen. So we'll just have to, to wait till that plays out. Yep. The other, the other thing to look at here is always good is the overall 24 hour volume. And that has gone up a fair bit today. Again, there's a lot of good signs. You know, I'm not sitting here saying everybody should lose hope. I, I think that, you know, this is just going to be one of those things that happens sometimes as we age as a market. And right. yeah, so it looks like we had 20 billion in, in volume today. And yeah, that picked up from low teens yesterday. So up from you know twelve billion to uh, thir to twenty billion today, which is a nice spike, and hopefully that means we're going to find our bottom here soon and head right back up. Now, yeah. one of the interesting things to remember too is almost exactly a year ago, uh, a couple of days ago, we had the Segwick two X cancel, and right. right after that happened, Bitcoin dropped from in the mid seven thousands to almost six thousand, and wow. then that was really when the bull run started last year. That is a, that, a good thing that. to keep in mind. Uh, that was an epic bull run where we went uh, all the way up to, we went up to 10,000 and a week later, got up to 20,000 and everyone was like, what is going on? And obviously that rebounded just as quickly. So any giant movements like this, you know that there's going to be a balancing out after the fact. And if we look at the price, so we were at like 6,300 yesterday. Today we got down to uh, 5,300. So as we said, a thousand dollar drop in price. It's a big market movement uh, that I think is, is going to be rebalancing itself. It was definitely a short squeeze that accelerated that drop. And that happens quite a lot before, um, before we start going long. So I'm hopeful. I think it'll be a great weekend. Absolutely. Well, I just wanted to check in with you and keep people updated on the markets. This was a, a giant move. So it's important to let people know what's going on and uh, what might be the reasons for, for all this. So thank you so much for chatting with me and going and enjoy the rest of your week. Absolutely. Thanks for taking time, Naomi. Uh, see you on Friday for the, the market recap. See you then. Hopefully we have real good news to talk about. Absolutely. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. I also have a Patreon account and wanted to give a special shout out to all the awesome people there. And a huge thank you to the sponsors of the show for making these videos possible. Thanks so much for watching. She used to just party.